But first tonight, breaking news, suing the city of St. Louis. The teen volleyball player who lost her legs in a crash downtown wants her day in court. Within the last two hours, we learned Janae Edmondson filed that lawsuit. Good evening. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. The lawsuit seeks a minimum of $175,000 and cites several defendants, including Daniel Riley, the driver who's criminally charged in the case, and another woman who the lawsuit claims first crashed into Riley's car. Live on your side's Brent Solomon has been digging through that lawsuit. He joins us live now from City Hall. Brent. Mike, two St. Louis uh, law firms filed that 14 page lawsuit in court today, saying that the teenager will continue to experience pain and discomfort. They also say that the future college student has lost future earnings potential. Four months after this devastating crash in downtown St. Louis that left 17-year-old Janae Edmondson without her legs, the teen is now filing suit. The lawsuit names the city of St. Louis, Daniel Riley, Kimberly Riley, Elizabeth Smith, and Ian Holdings as defendants. Daniel Riley is a man charged with second-degree assault after the crash. The suit accuses his mother of letting him drive a car obtained from Enterprise Rental Car. Kimberly Riley and Enterprise entrusted their 2023 Audi to Daniel Riley, despite their knowledge of his criminal history, his status on house arrest, lack of a driver's license, and his habitual recklessness, the lawsuit alleges. The suit also seeks to hold a driver named Elizabeth Smith responsible, claiming she initiated the ripple effect when she crashed into Riley. The suit says she and Riley were speeding and that she had a suspended license. Finally, the suit says the city should have done more to maintain the area of 11th and St. Charles streets, claiming inadequate street signs, poor driver visibility, and a need for a stop sign at that intersection. St. Louis owed a duty to the general public and specifically to pedestrians to remove or warn of dangerous conditions and to maintain the intersection, including the area surrounding the intersection, in a reasonably safe condition, the lawsuit claims. All right, the suit also says that back in March, the Edmondson family notified Mayor Jones here of the, quote, dangerous conditions at that intersection. Tonight, we reached out to the city and to Enterprise Rental Car for comment. We heard back from the city saying they don't comment on pending litigation. Mike. 